it's time to make some tracks. Time to get out of here. 125 degrees, Big Blue says right now. Woo! Let's get some wind underneath these wheels. I mean, he's just standing there looking at his reefer. Why won't it get colder? Because it's really, really hot here. Um, for this one here it actually did shut off actually um, it came up with a code it's a check evaporator flow or something like that I think it's just because it's so hot and I'm sitting there with the doors open and everything else <clears throat> it just said something's not right here as soon as I got it closed back up I fired it up and I just sat there for 20 minutes letting it just run and she's coming down just fine. So everything is good. So my goal for tonight is going to be I would like to get a bit into Tennessee knock out a chunk of Tennessee pretty good I do have eight hours it says because I just came off of that break so I've been sitting there for two hours off duty so I just came off of that I am not sure how much more time beyond that I'm gonna have my 14 might be catching up to me and so I may not have much over eight don't know don't worry buddy you just take the center of the road okay making us a uh, four lane the whole way and they got here and they said we ain't got no more money let's just stop here we'll put a donation can out maybe someday we'll finish it
funny, a funny tail on it. Front end looks like a Corvette, but the rear end is kind of funny looking. I don't want to get back in the car. I told you, Grandma. working out issues with Big Blue with this shifting it is just it is just different and it really is I can't shift fast you gotta just take your time let it get in there it's it's a real fast shift but you gotta I, I actually need when I shift what I have to do I don't know why there was a sensor thing there. This is not a toll. I don't get it. Um, I'm gonna shift right now. What you gotta do is kinda shift it, and you gotta give it just a little, I, I missed it completely there. You gotta give it just a little bit of gas. Just, just, you shift, you pull down, and then you, you just gotta set your foot on the gas and just start pressing down on it as you pull it in. I do not use a clutch shifting. I've tried to use a clutch. Um, I have tried to use a clutch shifting this truck. It's been many years since I've used a clutch, but it wasn't that big a deal. And I tried to do it and it just, that doesn't do anything either. I think I'm gonna hit a bad backup any way that I go. I really do. So which way do I go? Hey guys, here we are, look at this. Look what's right over here. Things. And 
so I had ribs and I had um, this is a little tight kit out here. I had ribs and brisket, and then you could and then you get two sides. Um, tell you the truth, I didn't think the ribs were that great. I think they've been sitting there for a long time. I don't really think they were that great. They were okay, but I've had a lot better. Um, the brisket was good. That was good. It was, it was it was good and moist and everything else. It was cooked good. That was good. issues today because the batteries are up in the windows of the truck and it is so hot down here that the sun is beating down so badly that it uh, it's actually overheating my cameras I mean it's 9 9 p.m. and it's a hundred degrees here um, it was all right. It wasn't. It wasn't great. You know, you kind of think. You know, you come to Texas barbecue, be greatest. You know, you and all this stuff. Yeah, I know Memphis would have an argument with that, but you think. You know, I just didn't feel it was really the greatest thing. I thought it was okay, but the brisket was very good. I gotta say that. But what I was kind of shocked on was the price. Now, I think I kind of screwed up a little bit. I think if I would have got like a dinner thing or something, you know, they, they have different dinners, and I saw those are like nine bucks and stuff like that. Really, it would have been about the same amount of food. But with that platter, you, they really get you there. And with two meat and two sides and a drink, it was $19. That's crazy. So, I think I might stop there again, maybe sometime. I'm not running back there tomorrow. Or the next time I come through, I'm not gonna make, you know, oh, I gotta get there. But um, I think I might stop there again and give another try and, and try like uh, one of their dinner things, like a, a sandwich or they had like, you know, pulled pork sandwiches or I had this pulled this chicken thing they had, you know. I saw those and I was like, kind of watch people buy stuff. And it seemed, you could tell who were coming in there who were kind of regular. And they were all getting that. And then it was like, the platter was like, yeah, you're not very smart for getting that. <laughs> I don't know, that's what I felt. So here we go. We are rolling down the road. Aaron turned off again. It's been so hot that even my GPS has been turning off. I actually have the air conditioning vent pointed right at my GPS just trying to keep it cool. That's how hot it is. It's just the sun is beating in here and stuff. Hey guys, here we are. It is 2.39 a.m., 78 degrees, and we're coming into Memphis. I thought maybe you guys might like the 
skyline there of the city was all lit up. Oh, bright lights, bright lights. Uh oh. My ELD just went. <laughs> the whole screen is freaked out. And it said, and it said, please wait. Well, it's back up and running now. Pro Shops Pyramid. Still haven't figured out what the whole pyramid's about. I wonder if you can get a truck down there. I don't think they probably have something down there you can get to. Then I could go and Say, hey, Mr. Bass Pro Shop, why is your building a pyramid? I just don't. It just, it just dumbfounds me. I just don't get it. Do, 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 do. This is the kind of traffic I like. Oh yeah. We are just rolling along. Making good nighttime driving time. I did lose about 25 minutes because I stopped and took a shower. Because Texas was hot and I got Sweaty. And basically I got sweaty from trying to run back to the truck where the air conditioner was running. <laughs> so I stopped in a pilot and took a shower and the pilot was just like just packed. There's people all sitting there in the feeling aisle and just taking their breaks. It, it was really bad. And I finally got just frustrated with it. <clears throat> and he couldn't even get it through. Finally, I backed up and I shot across the scale and got through. And then I pulled into kind of on the side of the exit and uh, pulled off when there was enough room to get by me and ran in there and took a shower. Was back off to my truck in like 10 minutes, but it took me about 15 minutes just to get into the pilot. Oh no, my lane is ending. We are going to be shooting for the 101 truck stop. That's where I'm looking to shut her down tonight. Oh, this is much nicer during the night. During the day, you're fighting to get over right there. Much nicer. I have an hour and 32 minutes to go on my clock. And I have a 72-ish mile an hour truck. I think we can make it. It's going to be tight, but I think we can do it.
telling me that I have 868 miles to go. So that would actually work out really good. Because if I can knock out 100 miles, that's going to leave me with about 750 miles. And I can do 750 miles in an 11 hour driving period. Yeah, buddy. So that will put me at the rail or at the rail yard. <laughs> You're not in a model trucker no more. That will put me at the ADL yard. So then I won't have to try to find a place to park. And I got a little something I would like to get done Friday morning. So I think that would work out really well. So I'll let you go and we'll see if we can make it. Well, here we are guys, home sweet home for the night. We are tight, tight on uh, hours of service. We're down to two minutes. Two is two. Folks, did we would we be 
you all done 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 I say <sighs> turn off my headlights here so I'm blind this guy uh, what else going on nothing else going on it is 406 74 degrees I uh, don't know the name of the town here yeah, we are about a hundred and ten miles away from Nashville So we'll get up tomorrow and take off about oh four or I'm sorry not four uh, 220 after we do our on duty for a break And we should be good through Nashville shouldn't be too bad Knoxville might hit a little problem We'll be hitting that kind of around rush hour but you guys are uh, suggesting to me to take that I, I don't think it's like the 440 or something like that around uh, I think Nashville said so there's a lot less problems it's new take it go keep it rolling keep big blue happy and moving so I'll probably give that a try tomorrow so I hope everyone out there is having themselves a great day great night when they're watching this here video